After weeks of intense negotiations, the national minimum wage was increased by 6% for 2021 and 8% for 2022. Some public sector workers are not happy with the percentage increment and they want a renegotiation. For instance, the Coalition Against the Leadership of TUC and Organized Labor is asking for a 15% increment. We are saying we are not settling on anything less than 15%. Why can't you give us a mere 15%? Looking at the, uh, the, 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 the economic hardship, currently, things that you used to buy, as I said it earlier on, things that you used to buy like five cities, now you go and it is ten cities. Public sector workers, we also command the purchasing power in the country. The coalition also threatened to begin legal processes to break away from the union if leadership failed to renegotiate the base pay and the national daily minimum wage. Anybody who is a member of any of the uh, uh, unionized groups is not there as a prisoner. It's by choice. And you can activate the same choice to move out when you feel leadership is not working in your interest. And so we have outlined a number of actions that we want to take should the leadership of TUC and other labor unions you know, fail to heed our concerns. And that does not exclude the fact that we can also use the numbers we have now to actually write to a, a, a control account and ask that we sh they should halt deductions of our, uh, 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 from our salaries and we, until we, we, are, we are sure of the true leadership that we feel will go there and, uh, and fight for our interest. Organized labor has only 10 days to go back to negotiation table. The group is calling for a 15% increment on the 2021 base pay and the national daily minimum wage or else they will write to the controller and accountant general to stop deducting their contributions. My name is Kojo Atman reporting for City News.